Hello everyone, this is Father Bill coming to you from St. Callistus Parish. And I just wanted to talk to you about our situation now. And we know that God does not abandon us in these difficult times. So I'm sure for all involved in the parish in our, and in our community, this is a very difficult time, obviously. So we do uh, miss all our gatherings, everything from visiting religious ed to coffee and donuts to having mass at the Lutheran home. And of course, most of all, our time of hearing God's word in church together and celebrating the Holy Eucharist. We know that the Eucharist makes the church. So this is a trying time for all of us not being able to gather as God's people. So we do miss you. We, we are praying for you. If we look at the situation, we say, well, we're out of our comfort zone. Pretty much everybody is out of their comfort zone, out of their normal routine. So what does this mean? This means it's a crisis. And one of the Oriental languages uses those symbols to communicate a certain concept. So there are symbols for crisis. They put two symbols together. And one is a symbol for danger. So when you're in a crisis, it's dangerous. The other is a symbol for opportunity. So when you're in a crisis, there's opportunity for growth, for new things to happen that move us forward. So we would look at our situation and say, what's the danger? The danger is that we might go into anger or a little bit of depression, uh, kind of disengaging because things are just so different. But on the other hand, what's the opportunity that comes with this crisis? The opportunity is to grow in our relationship with God. Many say that we think we're in control. That's really an illusion, that God's in control. So now that illusion pretty much taken away from us because of this virus that's uh, afflicting us. So we have that opportunity to say, oh, I could grow in my relationship with God. And I have, most people would have time to pay attention to that relationship. So three things I'm going to throw out just to think about. You don't, don't have to do these, but uh, we could spend more time praying and develop our prayer life. And for many people, it's kind of a given. You go to Mass, we say the prayers together, it's wonderful. Uh, now that's taken away from us. So we might have to be more, as I say, proactive and take a time each day for prayer. Some people already do that. Maybe some have been too busy to do that, but now is the opportunity to take a time each day to pray, develop our relationship with God. We know that many people are a little worried about that, or a little nervous, but God is all good and loving. He is wonderful, and he's going to help us. As long as we make the effort, he's going to be with us. Do you know that, and some people might be, well, I'm a little afraid to try to pray or talk to God, but what does God say to us? Be not afraid. And I found out from one of my former youth ministers that uh, be not afraid is in the scriptures 365 times, once for every day of the year. So that's one of the amazing things. We don't really reflect on it too much. God is always saying through angels, different people, the Lord himself, be not afraid. Fear is useless. So God says, be not afraid. Enter into this relationship. I would suggest one place to start could be Psalm 46. And there's a great line in there. If we have the right translation, it says, be still and know that I am God. Many times we're all busy about trying to do a million things, mostly good things. And God reminds us, just be still, slow down, listen. And the word from God is really good. That reminds me, maybe we should read the scripture a little more during this time. So um, we might look at the letter that you're going to get, the mailing that's coming out. We'll give you different passages that have to do with Holy Week from the prophet Isaiah, uh, the Passion narratives and the different Gospels. So we could read some of those and reflect on them. One thing is don't think you have to read a whole bunch of stuff. It's read like one paragraph or one section and then reflect on it. And let yourself get a little bit deep with that, which God promises he will do for us. Thirdly, I'd like to say keep connected um, through our website from the parish, social media, maybe even you know writing a note or a letter to someone, even phone calls. We have to be creative and being connected to those around us. Lastly, I'd like to say stay safe, be mindful of God's love for you, practice our social distancing, and know that we are praying for you every day. We're saying Mass every day for all of our people. And let me give you a blessing. May God's face shine upon you and bless you. May the Lord look upon you with great love. May God bless you and give you strength and courage in this time, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.
God bless you.